Jean Cohen from the South Bay Labor Council. Brothers and sisters in labor family, we're here to tell greedy bosses, hell no. Is that right? Yeah. My name is Jean Cohen. I'm the executive officer of the South Bay Labor Council. First of all, if you're here with the union, raise your hand right now. This is fantastic. Let's give everyone a round of applause. California and really across the United States, our brothers and sisters and our siblings with the Writers Guild of America are fighting for the future of work and each one of you are fighting every day for the future of work. It just looks different depending on what your industry is or what your passion is or what your job is. But the reality is we live in a country where a very small group of people own almost everything. They own money, they own contracts, they own power. But what they don't own is the labor movement and they don't own us and they're going to lose. Do we believe that? Are we ready to fight? <laughs> the South Bay Labor Council represents over 100,000 working men and women in Santa Clara and San Benito counties and over 100 of those unions are represented here today by many of our leaders. So I just want to say one, we're here to support you in solidarity during this fight. Two, it is incumbent upon all of us to demand that workers have dignity and respect on the job, that they're paid for their work, that their wages are not stolen, and that they have the opportunity to bargain collectively. We're gonna kick some ass, and we're gonna start today in Cupertino as our local effort to make sure that the broader labor movement has your back has the opportunity to make sure that your contract mirrors the ones that we all want, which is to allow families to pay their bills, to retire with dignity, and to be honored for the work that you do. So it's an honor to host you here. Again, we're gonna kick ass, we're the working class. We're here to support the Writers Guild. Union yes, let me hear yes. Union yes! Nurses, um, we, yeah. Yeah, anytime you see these red shirts um, on the outside, you know there's trouble on the inside, and that's why we're here today. Um, as, as was said, my name is Monty Wright. I'm a registered nurse from Kaiser San Jose, and I'm a proud member of the California Nurses Association. And today, I stand before you as a representative of the nursing community at large, expressing our solidarity with the striking writers. We as nurses have first-hand experience in confronting the insatiable greed of executives who seek to undermine our noble profession for their own profit. Every year, the healthcare industry finds new ways to insert technology between us and our patients. They promote uh, remote appointments over in-person care, or even pro propose the installation of cameras in hospital rooms monitored by medical staff from faraway places. However, we nurses firmly believe that there is no substitute for the compassionate touch and attentive care we provide at the patient's bedside. Um, like the hospital interest industry, it's deeply immoral to watch Hollywood and Silicon Valley executives amass enormous profits from their productions while neglecting to provide writers with fair compensation to support themselves and their families. We see the writing profession and the very essence of creative rights being threatened by the expansion of unregulated AI technology. And we recognize that nothing can replace the power of human minds and voices. Um, writers, are, yeah. writers are the storytellers who bring life to our experiences. Writers have the ability to touch our lives, to tell our stories, to give voice to the stories of the lives that we save. Um, you deserve to earn a professional wage with a contract that honors your contributions. As nurses, we are not just caregivers, we are advocates, and we firmly believe in fighting alongside, uh, fighting alongside you protects the integrity of your profession. 
Um, together, we're going to flip the script that the Greedy Major Studios are trying to write. Nurses stand united with writers. We are here to challenge the Greedy Studios and demand fair compensation and AI regulations that will ensure that the value of human creativity and expression remains at the forefront. forefront. Let's join hands in solidarity and forge a path that preserves the irreplaceable art of storytelling. Thank you. Thank you. Andy Blank, who's a member of the Alphabet Workers Union. Hi, I'm Andy. Uh, I'm an engineer at Google, and I'm a member organizer with the Alphabet Workers Union, CWA. I see all these flip the script on AI signs out here. Uh, so I want to talk from the perspective of the people who make AI because we represent the engineers, the designers, the researchers who build these AI platforms, the data analysts, the content raters who create all this training data that goes into them. And we never wanted our work to put you out of a job. We wanted to build something that can make your lives better. We wanted to build tools that you can use to have a better job, a better life. We didn't want it to be something that was gonna have some VC try to replace you with an AI. And we think it can be a more positive if everyone impacted by it gets a say in the conversation about how this technology should be used. WGA deserves a seat at the table, right? The people who make these AI platforms deserve a seat at the table, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, we're all gonna fight to get what we deserve to get our say in how things that impact us are rolled out, how they're used, how they're regulated, right? I also want to talk to Apple about our CWA comrades in the Alphabet or in the Apple retail union. They were organizing at Apple retail stores across the country for the pay and benefits that they deserve. Because Apple says that they want an open dialogue with those workers. But, in response to worker organizing, they have fired organizers and they have retained law firms that are known union busters. Yeah. So hey Apple, today is a good day to stop union busting. Bargain in good faith with the writers here today and with your retail workers. This is a shared struggle. The retail workers, our workers at Google, Writers Guild, everybody together we will win the respect and dignity that we deserve because together we cannot be defeated. The people united can never be defeated. Right? The people united can never be defeated. The people united can never be defeated. The people united can never be defeated. Alphabet Workers Union, this, the work you're doing is so important. Up next, we have Jason Rabinowitz, who's the principal officer of Teamsters 2010 and the president of Joint Council 7. Give it up. All right. We have Writers Guild in the house. Let's hear you, Writers Guild. And my sisters and brothers in the Teamsters, are you here? Yeah. Is Labor here? Yeah. Labor in the house? I don't think Apple heard you. Is labor in the house today? Yeah. Are we ready to fight? Yeah. Are we ready to fight? Yeah. Ready to fight? Yeah. Ready to win? Yeah. Ready to win? Yeah. Are we ready to win? Yeah. Are we ready to win? Yeah. I know we're going to win. And you know why? Because we've seen our strength all across this state, all across the country. And when they pick a fight, these greedy corporations, with the Writers Guild, they pick a fight with all of labor, with SAG-AFTRA, with the Teamsters, with all of Hollywood, with all of the labor movement. Because we're standing together, we're united like never before. Uh, I come to you today, I'm Jason Rabinowitz, I'm President of Joint Council 7, representing 20 local unions, Northern California, Northern Nevada, 100,000 working men and women in Northern California, Northern Nevada. 
We also uh, are here on behalf of 250,000 Teamsters throughout California, 1.3 million Teamsters across the United States, Canada, Puerto Rico. And we're here to say that the Teamsters stand with the Writers Guild, and we've seen Teamsters, our Teamsters Local 399. Our Hollywood Teamsters, and on behalf of Lindsay Doherty, our International Vice President and leader of our Hollywood Teamsters, we want to say that the Teamsters stand with you. Your fight is our fight. We stand with you shoulder to shoulder. As long as you're standing up, you're standing strong. We will be there with you in solidarity until we win this fight. Yeah. Now, the Teamsters represent almost every kind of worker in every kind of industry. Now, we're historically, we're the, the truck drivers union. Okay, hundreds of thousands of truck drivers, UPS, all different industries, waste, warehouse. But we represent workers uh, in, in every job classification imaginable, from air traffic controllers, from airline pilots, to zookeepers, everything in between. Uh, I don't know if we have any writers, though. We leave that, we leave that to you guys. But, um, you know, your work may be a little different, but your struggle is exactly the same. Today you are going up against unprecedented corporate greed, just like we're facing. And we're facing when we deal with UPS, when we deal with all our greedy employers, my local, we're dealing with California State University right now. The corporate greed is the same. The, the unquenchable thirst for profits, where these corporations are constantly trying everything that they can do, every trick in the book to drive down our wages, drive down our uh, our standard of living, take away our rights, just so they can boost their profits. And uh, so whether you're a writer, you're a truck driver, whatever you're doing, we're dealing with the same thing. And then there's this uh, automation, the artificial intelligence. Well, we know about that in the Teamsters because they're trying to get these robots to drive our trucks, to drive our cars. No, that's right. Is that crazy? Do you want a robot driving an 80,000 pound truck down the freeway next to your family? No, I know I don't. And I don't want a robot trying to write my TV shows either. <laughs> a robot, you know, a robot doesn't know how to drive, a robot doesn't know how to write, a robot doesn't know anything. A robot has no, has no soul, has no heart, has no brain, has no life experience. That's why we need human beings. Now, do these corporations give a damn about us as human beings? No. Do they give a damn about us as workers? No. No, they don't. And that's why we stand together in union. Because when we stand together, all the writers, all the industries, all the unions, we are unstoppable and unbeatable. Because they can't run their business, whether it's Hollywood or Apple or UPS or university or whatever it may be, without our work. Whose work makes Hollywood work? Whose work? Whose work? Whose work? That's right. And we're standing together, the Writers Guild, the Teamsters, all the unions, labor movement, and we're saying we're going to keep fighting, we're going to keep standing together, and we're not going to stop until we win. So are you ready to fight? Yes. Are you ready to fight? Yes. Are you ready to fight? Yes. Are you ready to win? 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 Yes. Let's do it. Thank you. All right. Give it up for Jason. Um, up next, we have our board, Writers Guild of America West board member, Liz Alper. Give it up for Liz. Thank you, everybody. I wrote something today. My name is Liz Shalon Alper, and I am honored to serve as a board member of the WGA West. With our sister guild, Writers Guild of America East, we represent over 11,000 writers behind your favorite television shows and movies. For the past 34 days, we have been on strike against the studios, including Apple, for a contract that will make writing a sustainable career again. The majority of the WGA's 11,000 members are not the filthy rich auteurs the studios paint us to be. Before the rise of streaming, most writers were considered middle class. Now Wall Street and big tech companies like Apple have decimated our middle class in their pursuit of growing profits by squeezing their overhead out of our already shrinking pay. 
Writers are working harder and longer but making less money than ever before. Big tech companies like Apple have taken advantage of changes in the business model to cut writers out of the profits they make off of our work and undermine our working conditions. If this situation sounds familiar, it's because it is. Across the country, big tech has invaded nearly every industry, spreading its toxic Silicon Valley work culture everywhere. This is why the eyes of millions of Americans are watching us now. How the WGA's fight goes will be a referendum for all industries across the country. That's why I want to thank the South Bay Labor Council for being here today. I want to thank the Alphabet Workers Union for being here today. I want to thank the California Nurses Association for being here today. I also want to thank our sister unions in Hollywood for standing beside us and being here as well. SAG-AFTRA, IOTC, MIUNA, DGA, AFM, and of course, the mother effing Teamsters. We'd also like to thank the staff from Senator Dave Cortez's office, the staff from Senator Joss Beckett's office, the staff from uh, Assemblyman Mark Berman's office, and Sally Lieber from the State Board of Equalization who is here with us today. For the first time in recent history, all of the Hollywood unions are standing together with linked arms. We, like the rest of you, recognize how big tech has minimized and undervalued the, contrib the contributions of the workers. Today, Apple will reveal to the world the progress they have made with artificial intelligence, or AI. Like our employers, the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers, they will tell you it's a tool meant to revolutionize the workplace. The AMPTP told writers at the negotiating table that they want AI to benefit writers and other Hollywood work workers, insisting AI is here to help us, not replace us. And yet media consultants and insiders speak at industry functions about using AI to make labor more efficient, so they can save for much bigger films or do more movies bragging that AI can save studios the 50 to 70% of a film budget that goes to labor. In other words, companies like Apple want to make AI's role in film and television production more efficient by making workers redundant. Will we stand for that? No. Will we stand for that? No. Will we stand for that? No! Not just writers, not just actors, not just 80s or grips, electrics, crew, uh, construction crews, teamsters, all of us are under this existential threat. The WGA's labor action is a response to this crisis that threatens the livelihoods not just of all Hollywood workers, but all workers in America. Apple says writers are invaluable to the film and television process, yet they refuse to make a fair deal, even though the WGA's proposals would have cost Apple a mere $17 million of the $400 billion in revenue they have reported last year. And because Apple believes 17 million out of 400 billion is the writers robbing them blind, Apple TV Plus subscribers will suffer. New content for Apple TV Plus will be delayed. Filming on shows made for Apple TV Plus, including Severance and Sinking Spring, have been interrupted. Loot has also paused production for the duration of the strike. Apple TV Plus alone among the streamers has virtually no library of licensed programming. Apple is willing to disappoint subscribers while gambling with the livelihoods of every worker on these productions, all to keep from paying $17 million that it would cost them to restore sustainability to the writers' careers in Hollywood. This is why we are taking this message directly to the consumers in cities across the country. Los Angeles, New York City, Philly, Pittsburgh, DC. We're letting them know that Apple TV Plus is nothing without the content we create. Apple TV Plus's success was built on our work, our observations and curiosities about humanity. Not an algorithm, not AI writers. Big tech has bled the workers of Hollywood nearly dry, just as they've done to the workers and in industries all across America. We reject having our contributions devalued by the companies. We refuse to have our livelihood sacrificed so that Apple shareholders can enjoy minuscule profit bumps. 
For the sake of the profession we love, the industry we call our home, our audiences, and our fellow sister unions in Hollywood, we will fight to get the deal we deserve. Union now, union forever, as you have stood with us, we will now and forever stand with you as well, the fellow unions.